Testing, testing. One, two, three. Um, we're here in uh, in Oxford to run the Thames Trot 50 mile race. It's very rare that I show you what I wear and bring with me on a race. So I usually bring Richard. Solomon race vest. Oh, there you go. Right, okay. It's an advanced skin lab hydro five set um, and in there i've got my trusty um, baby food sachets so my favorite at the moment is uh, banana baby brekkie which is slightly smaller than most of the ones i use but has more carbohydrates my trusty innovate cap my new montane rainproof and windproof jacket my ex-bionic underwear do you know what i never used to like i never used to think wearing underwear would be important until i bought those and they are absolutely superb um, and my ex-bionic top which um, i also love in gingy thin socks heart rate monitor and dead cheap sports direct shorts this is my tailwind powder this is supposed to provide you with everything you need allergy relief ibuprofen waterproof trousers here which i don't plan on wearing but they're there just in case also my um trusty ultras and that's that's kind of it really we shall see you in the morning 50 miles of the thames trot 50 tomorrow <laughs>
now to the end. We've got 30k to go basically. I'm enjoying the route. We've had a bit of undulation the last few kilometres up and down little hills. Nothing too spectacular, but. This is the Thames Trot 50, which I've discovered isn't actually 50 miles, it's about 48, which makes me very happy because it means we've got about 10 miles to go. So 38 miles done in 6 hours, 25 minutes. Not really where we wanted to be, but I am going to blame the weather. The mud has been really bad. Seventy kilometres in to the Thames Trot, with about six or seven kilometres to go. I'm in 35th, well, 36th place. I've had a lovely time. I say it's 6k to go. We like Costa Coffee a lot, a lot. The race today, thoroughly enjoyed it, did get tired. Richard finished in seven hours and 56 minutes. I finished in eight hours and 13. It was very wet and muddy going out um, for the first half. Then there was some quite good hard pack and pathway to run on for a little while. And then it did get muddy again in the last little section. The thing is, if it's sunny, then the Thames would look beautiful. The next marathon Richard and I are doing is the Heartbreaker Marathon, which is in the New Forest. That's the end of February. And that's it from Henley on Thames. Um, remember, if you want me to come and film a run that you're doing, if you're a race organiser, um, it's filmmyrun.com. It's facebook.com forward slash filmmyrun. And you can get me on Twitter at filmmyrun. Don't forget, I've also moved channels now. I'm on my own dedicated film my run channel so go and subscribe to that thank you very much and we'll see you at the next race bye bye